no drivetrain loss, it's the full 914. Jesus. You see what I'm trying to say? What's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we're gonna to go for the final drive in my dodge challenger srt hellcat this is actually my own car i've owned it for probably around 12 months and uh yeah tomorrow 10 30 somebody will be winning the car so i'm just getting the car prepped getting new tires put on gonna get the car clean throwing some petrol and then of course we'll go for a little pov drive i'll show you what she's like i'm gonna give you my final thoughts on what it's been like to own and also do a regret doing the giveaway i know man needs a trim it's coming tonight maybe tomorrow morning and uh, i'm very very tired of the training in this sun it's crazy so anyway let's go can't slow me down like speed hump no keep up when i speed up see your future that's my past yeah. see the smoke when i drive past yeah. fast lane living life fast. <laughs> tired people right so first things first 40 squid has just landed in the fuel tank and we have got roughly about half a tank of fuel so anyway 6.2 litre supercharged v8 engine producing 707 brake horsepower from factory this car is modified by bd performance we have parts land from america and she officially dynoed at 914 horsepower full armature exhaust system just just listen guys just just This car is ridiculously fast and ridiculously loud. It's not all noise and no go. Like this car really, really goes. 914 brake horsepower, roughly 2,000 kilos. It's only a little bit heavier than like an F90 M5. I cannot stress to you how fast this car is. It's rear wheel drive. So it means there's no drivetrain loss. It's the full 914. Jesus. You see what I'm trying to say? The speed of this car is, it truly is breathtaking. You know, when you look at the power to weight, like 2,000 kilos, 914 horsepower, it may be similar to some lower powered cars, but as I've experienced with many cars, you've got power to weight. Yeah, some cars will accelerate nearly as fast as this, but you cannot beat brute power, man. And that's what this car is, an American muscle car. It is insane, man. No, I'm not even trying to gas it up right now. Windows down, let's just go manual. We obviously got an 8-speed ZF gearbox, same box you'll find in an F90 M5. Just tap in the throttle. What an animal. So what I noticed with this car is it just feels like a naturally aspirated car. Like you've got that super sensitive, uh, responsive throttle, but you've just got a whole leap of more power. It's not like a turbocharger where you're waiting for a certain RPM. I'm talking about from one or 2,000 RPM you've got. Look, we're at 3,000. And we've also had gearbox software. My God, the smoke that this car leaves. It's seriously offensive. Not even full throttle. Full throttle. <laughs> Down to second gear. Yeah, no. So guys, we've had crank pin kit, we've had upgraded injectors, upgraded spark plugs, upgraded belts. It's had the full treatment. Like this is like the equivalent of, you could say like a stage two plus. These cars easily do a thousand horsepower. I mean, I've got to say it has been awesome owning this car. Definitely a little bit neglected. I'm not going to lie. The last few years feel like it's been a bit all over the place. Like I bought all these cars, including the Hellcat. I even had this car modified and it sat around for six months running this power without me even you know picking it up doing the first drive and stuff but um you know life changes jesus sorry man some basic reactions but let me tell you this car there is no car louder than this i promise you 
for a fact, not with the Armatrix uh, Valvetronic decat system. Let me tell you, the way these things handle, like, I'm into rear wheel cars, right? And let me tell you, the way this car, you, the way you can finesse this car into corners, um, you'd be very, very surprised. One of the most controllable rear wheelers I've ever, ever driven. I'm not just saying it because it's mine. Like, this car makes me look like a good driver. See, look, everywhere you go, look, we're at the car wash and these guys are going nuts. So, like, <laughs> it's America. Like, the car just looks, it's ridiculous from the front. <laughs> yeah, so I think I'll get the car cleaned and then I'll, I'll get back to you guys. Honestly, that was a proper event in that car wash. The first time I've taken a Hellcat there. I take all the giveaway cars there. Um, but yeah, the Hellcat is an absolute shutdown. You see, like when I'm out in the Mac, the McLaren, like the attention's ridiculous. But the Hellcat gets the equivalent attention. Uh, for those of you that are interested, this car cost me around £62,000. Um, you know, insurance plus modifying it. I'm probably in at about 70k in. Um, McLaren 140 grand, double the price. But let me tell you, both of them cars, back to back on the road, because I've had them on the road together, the Hellcat is something else from the front, I'm telling you. Attention wise, respect wise, it's usually the older guys that like these. So many of them old, older shows, isn't there, with the American muscle cars, just reminds them of this. Everyone loves it, my dad loves his car, my girlfriend's dad loves his car. Yeah, the amount of people that are hoping to win this car is ridiculous. It's rear wheel drive, we've got an LSD from factory, we've got the 8 speed ZF gearbox, as I've already mentioned, we've got tons of different driving modes, and uh, yeah, it really is a good hand in the car. Of course, it's left hand drive, you have to get a little bit used to it. It's not for me anyway, like some people just jump in left hookers and it's no problem, but for me, I had to get a little bit used to it. We did knock the mirror once or twice, it surfs the road really nice. Like now, nah, this road's really bumpy, we've got it in the sportier setting, so we've got the uh, the, the no, no, we've got the dampers actually on the softer setting, but we've got the throttle, gear shift, speed, everything else in like the, the race mode plenty of torque mode don't have to downshift or anything so just some features if you go to controls you'll see we've got heated seats vented seats so we've basically got air conditioned seats makes you feel like you fucking wet yourself not gonna lie to you you got a heated steering wheel I'm literally tapping the throttle and the way it throws itself forward it's got so much low down torque but honestly on a sunny day like this you could not pick a better car than the Hellcat it's a big American muscle car it's just an event everywhere you go <laughs> it's weird it's like the older I'm getting and the less videos I'm doing, the more I'm realizing how much of a fucking hooligan I've been in these videos. Usually I wouldn't give a fuck, like, like this car is so loud, but I'm thinking about the houses, I'm thinking about people now, like, yo, this is, this is out of order, man. <laughs> we do have paddles up here as well, but I just love using the shifter, man. Brakes are awesome as well.
see a very good handling car then. <laughs> As you upshift, 10% throttle spins up the wheel so easy. I can drive this car a lot harder than I am. I'm actually just trying to be respectful for anyone. I know we're getting old people. I reckon I could get some people on track in this thing. Right, so guys, you join me back at home. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm very, very tired. It is stupid o'clock in the morning. It's like, it's, bro, it's nearly four o'clock. I'm not gonna lie to you. I had to end this video on it. Um, but yeah, final words on the Hellcat. It's been an event owning this car, something to tick off the bucket list. Like, wow, I've owned a Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat. I mean, it's just a car that not many people have the balls to go and buy. Obviously, I in a position where I've done it for content, but even content creators wouldn't go off and buy a Hellcat. Like, this is the stupid shit I do, basically. I just try to be different. And every time I go out in it, it's been an event. Anytime I go to car meets, car shows, anytime I'm on the road, pull up to petrol station, this is a car that demands attention. It demands respect. And uh, everyone around me is gonna miss it. My family, like, my God, everyone loves this car. So many people are just like baffled at why I would get rid of it. I tried to make content with six cars. It hasn't worked, guys. I don't think I can make content on six cars. I think I need to make things a bit more simple like I did back in the day, like the M4 situation, just doing the mods, doing the mods, doing the mods. And um, yeah, like, um, bit of a fail really as i say i miss the car but at the same time i now get to start my m140 build i get to forge the engine order my turbo kit uh, and also i am really considering buying uh, like a quadrifoglio or maybe uh, another m3 or an m4 i want a car that i can sort of just book a load of track days uh, ultimately i want a porsche gt3 you know what i mean i want a porsche gt3 my gtr is ready for collection um she's mint like ready like like she's so mint that i'm like bro do i just get rid of it and buy the porsche uh do a giveaway i don't know like i'm just sort of working out what to do but um ultimately i see myself in a porsche gt3 man that is the car but if i get a quadrifoglio or an m3 that would be a cool car right bro the quadrifoglio does a seven minute 32 second nurburgring lap time what the f imagine you do coilovers like nitrons or like kwv freeze if there is anyone out there that knows anything about these cars let me know man because there's a few little um, factory problems that that um like fuel pump warnings apparently so i'm just looking into these things but yeah you're probably watching this video the same night that i'm doing the giveaway on this car so tonight 10 30 somebody will be winning this car for 14.99 i'm also giving away two thousand pound cash uh to go towards i don't know insurance tires believe it or not this car honestly i've not spent a penny on it apart from tires that's it i've just put fresh tires on it for the for the new owner it's in immaculate condition 7200 miles on the clock the exterior is in mint condition yeah it's been very reliable it's a lot of power of course it's going to drink a little bit of petrol but not as bad as my m5 so yeah guys i'm going to end the video there as always if you enjoyed it hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new and of course i'll see most of you in the live draw tonight on the llf against facebook where i will reveal the winner of this car so yeah i'll see you guys soon